In our series on finance and economics, today we will be discussing national income calculation at constant prices versus market prices versus factor cost. Let me know in comment section which method India uses for calculating national income and why. National income at constant prices refers to the value of goods and services produced in an economy at a fixed base year's prices. On the other hand, national income at market prices represents the value of goods and services produced at current market prices, reflecting both changes in output and price levels. Suppose we have an economy called Ecoland, with two industries, agriculture and manufacturing. In base year 2000, the price of wheat is $10 per ton, and the price of machinery is $1,000 per unit. And in year 2010, the price of wheat increases to $12 per ton, and the price of machinery increases to $1,200 per unit. The production is 1,000 tons of wheat and 1,000 units of machinery. By using 2000 as base year, we can calculate the national income at constant prices as $1,010,000. You may pause the video and refer to calculation. However, we calculate national income at market prices as $1,212,000. You may pause the video and refer to calculation. The concept of national income at constant prices has several advantages. It provides a more accurate measure of real economic growth, as it eliminates the effects of inflation or deflation. This allows for meaningful comparisons of output over different periods. However, there are some limitations to using national income at constant prices. It requires selecting a base year for comparison, which may not fully capture changes in the structure of the economy or technological advancements. Additionally, constant price estimates rely on the availability of accurate price indices, which can be challenging to construct. National income at market prices, on the other hand, reflects the current market value of goods and services and includes the impact of price changes. It provides a comprehensive measure of the value added at each stage of production and is commonly used for economic analysis and policy formulation. Another method, national income at factor cost is calculated by subtracting indirect taxes and adding subsidies from national income at market prices. Indirect taxes, such as sales tax or excise duty, are taxes imposed on goods and services, while subsidies are government payments that reduce the cost of production. Assume there is an indirect tax of $2 per ton on wheat and a subsidy of $100 per unit on machinery. We adjust for these components in our previous example to calculate the national income at factor cost as $1,310,000. You may pause the video and refer to calculation. The concept of national income at factor cost provides a clearer picture of the income earned by the factors of production within an economy. It helps in understanding the distribution of income among different factors and can be useful for evaluating the impact of government policies on various sectors. However, estimating national income at factor cost requires reliable data on indirect taxes and subsidies, which may be challenging to obtain. It also does not consider the final prices paid by consumers which limits its usefulness in analyzing consumer behavior and welfare. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.